Well, one sweet turn deserves another. We'd like you now to meet one Vancouver woman who's sharing her success with another not so fortunate woman in Iran. They share a lot, including the same name. Miss Canada. I entered the Miss World competition so I could gain a strong voice to speak on humanitarian and human rights related issues. And it seemed to have worked because dealing with this campaign, it certainly has helped gain attention in the media. Today you're getting a, a hero award for human rights from the UN. I started the petition and I went to these different international bodies and lobbied them and got their support and had a website up for people to get the updates on and constantly be the liaison between family, lawyers and the international community. Nazanin Fatehi was 17 years old when she was in a park with her 15-year-old niece, Somaye, when three men attacked them and attempted to rape them. Now, out of self-defense, Nazanin stabbed one of these men, and he later died in hospital. So as a result, she was charged on murder charges and sentenced to death by hanging by the Iranian judiciary. That's what's caused so much um, of an outcry. Basically, we have more than 320,000 signatures on a petition. The United Nations have taken action. Uh, the European Union and Canadian Parliament have shown their support. And various human rights and women's rights organizations, including Amnesty International. So this combined effort and all the outcry, all the personal letters that people have written, it's definitely, in my opinion, had an impact. It is believed that through this international pressure, the head of judiciary in Iran granted a stay of execution for Nazanin Fatehi. Nazanin had her retrial on January 10th, and the judges said basically that this was not a case of premeditated murder, it was a case of self-defense. Nazanin Fatehi will be released subject to a blood money payment, and she's going to be able to go home. So um, I was quite happy about that, except for now is the question of the blood money. Normally in a case where someone's been killed or injured, in the Iranian penal code it suggests that you have to pay a certain amount to the victim's family. And a lot of times if you pay that amount, the accused is released completely from jail. In this case, it looks like it's going to be close to $35,000 US. Nazanin comes from an extremely poor family. They live in a very poor part of Kadaj, which is a suburb of Tehran. There are five, six, seven siblings, and um, the mother does house cleaning work to bring home money for the family, and the father has not been working for over 10 years because of problems with his health. And so there's no way that family can come up with this money on their own. I've seen already the support from the international community. I've seen how much they care for this one girl, that this girl that they've never met. And so it gives me hope that it won't be too difficult to raise this money. Now I'm hoping that I'm not wrong and that people are gonna come through in the end. Um, I guess if they don't, then I'm just gonna have to knock on some more doors, but eventually she will be released.